Hey friends, how you doing? It's Brooke Hoover. Um, I, I was working with a student this morning who was writing her own song and uh, she needed a little work with timing. So I came up with an exercise that's kind of fun. It's, uh, I'm calling it quarter, eighth and sixteenth note super jam. It starts off with, uh, this is how we did it. We did uh, quarter notes on a B, seventh fret. A uh, big string like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So we did four measures of quarter notes. Then we did eighths. One and two and three and four and one, two. Then we did sixteenths like this. Let's just try that. I was at, we were at 90. So it's going to be B at the 7th fret. If you want to grab your guitar. Okay, let's count it off. Quarter notes. One, two, four measures. Ready, go. One, two, a minute on my uh, uh, what do you call it uh, guitar pro 7 software I'm doing it at 155 because that's where we needed to be with my student for the song she was writing so let's just try it at 155 all right I'm gonna start that over so it's gonna be one two three crank it up a little bit and here it comes play along at 155 go was driving me nuts was this pick. It's got this big 
grip on it. I can't handle that. I've got a bunch of them and I hate them. All right, let's use a different pick. So when I do surf zombies, a lot of our stuff is like. just keeps moving so you can try this kind of exercise on like a set of notes something like uh, make up a set of four notes sort of like uh, I got an, uh, the second half of this exercise would be like E like one two three four G C and B that's E G C and B which is um, Sounds kind of cool. So you can kind of turn this exercise into maybe a riff writing exercise. And now if we do the same notes as eighth notes. E, G, C, and B, and sixteenths. is worn way down. Must be one of mine. All right, let's try that at, oh, let's go 120. Quarter notes. Now, eighth notes. Here comes sixteenths. to uh, 130 let's go 135 try that here's 135 two ready go idea for just working on finding where your number is for how how well can you do 16th notes without you know falling apart so this pick is really worn out I don't like to throw things away unless they're completely worthless but this feels pretty bad so I'm gonna toss that pick I'm playing my Gerson SG which is an Italian copy of an SG it's got excellent frets and fretboard and pickups the neck is cool, everything's good on it, other than it looks horrible from some sort of moisture damage. But it's fun to play, and it sounds good, feels good, looks crazy. Good luck with your uh, timing, man, that's where it's at.